is up and welcome back to my channel so i have been mia and if you guys watched my little apartment tour i just posted you guys will know why um everything just became a little too much and everything happened so fast and i just couldn't keep up and sorry but i just had to chill out on the youtube for a bit but thank you so much for sticking around and being here and waiting patiently for me and being so so supportive of our apartment i'm so happy here i think we finally found the place that we like actually feel like home and we feel safe and it just feels like the environment that we really needed to really just you know start going towards the rest of our goals and our relationship and stuff so really excited about that i just got ready for class i have class today from 8 a.m till 10 30 a.m i have med search too um but i did get ready just because it helps me feel motivated all day instead of just being lazy my pjs because then that just sets me up for a poor day i don't know that's just how i work um but i did get ready and put some new jewelry pieces on so i wanted to kind of show you guys and tell you guys a little bit about the company it is anna luisa i have worked with them in a video before and i am absolutely in love with every single piece they've ever given me i actually even lost one of my rings and i'm so so devastated about it i think it's in josh's car um but it's been a mess so i haven't actually been able to go look but they have lasted me so long my rings my earrings none of it has turned rusty and none of it has turned my fingers green which i can really appreciate because my fingers do have that reaction um to a lot of things and even my ears turn green for earrings um or they'll reject it and it's kind of gross so i can really appreciate the exceptional quality of these pieces um if you guys have that green problem you probably can understand um i feel like a lot of people i know don't have it and i'm like i feel like everyone's fingers turn green when they have bad jewelry on Anyways, but yeah, they have fair pricing, which is also awesome because, you know, I'm a nursing student and I got tuition to pay. They have no luxury um, markups, so everything starts at $39, which is really cool. And they only use the best noble metals. Um, they also are carbon neutral. They offset 100% of their carbon emissions, starting with the sourcing of their raw materials um, and all the way to the disposal of their pieces, uh, meaning they give back for everything that they take. So it's a kind of like a fair trade with mother nature, which we can respect. I love these pieces. I got the bracelet specifically because it's gold and it matches the chains that I wear in a lot of my necklaces and stuff. And I have two bracelets that are Alex and Annie that I always wear on this wrist. And then this one, I always have my watch and I always want a bracelet to wear with my watch. So I'm really excited because I think this is going to look stunning with it. Um, and then I got a couple pairs of earrings, which one are these little huggy hoops. Um, I think they're so pretty and I love the diamonds. Um, ew, sorry, you guys, my hands, I really, really messed up on my self tanner and it's so gross. Um, but they are so cute. I've been wearing them like this lately. I'm really excited to layer them with my like bigger hoops and stuff and my thicker, chunkier hoops. Um, and put these in my second holes i'm actually even thinking about getting a third piercing because i think the layering look of like bigger into like smaller huggy hoops is really pretty and then i got on this ear that i'm wearing is that one of their little cuffs i can't get my ears pierced further than my earlobe because my my body rejects them um same reason i can't have like a belly button piercing or a nose piercing i've tried and just my body rejects it sadly um so I love these because I can wear them and not get a gross infected ear and scars. So again, I love this company. They are also doing an incredible Black Friday sale with since it's November and Christmas is right around the corner. They gave me a link and I'll put it in the description box so you can actually just click on it and it can take you there. Um, but these are some items that you'll seriously love you guys and it's a limited offer so I would definitely take advantage of it. I'm going to take advantage of it because I have a mom, a sister, and then Josh has a mom and sister and... I just think it would be the perfect gift and again because they have no luxury markups they're really affordable items and i think they would make the best little christmas gifts um apparently i'm still a little rusty from not vlogging the last few weeks so bear with me i'm excited to have you guys here for a little day in the life vlog to get some content flowing um and yeah i'm actually going to go to class now i have class from 8 to 10 30 a.m i have med surge too so i need to get going but i just want to share that with you guys and i hope we have an awesome productive day
just finished class. It went really well. Um, I did film a study with me, but it was really tacky and I don't want to put content out there if I'm not happy with it just to get it out there. Um, I want it to be useful for you guys and I want it to look good and I want it to be something you'll enjoy watching and that like, I don't know. And I just wasn't happy with how it turned out, um, but I feel like now I definitely know where I want to go with that video. So we're gonna try again this weekend, hopefully. But for med surge, I kinda wanna show you guys what I have been doing. My first exam in this class, I got a 74%. If you don't know, 70 anything below 78% in my school is failing. I'm pretty sure it's like that for a lot of schools. Um, so that was really hard. That's been my lowest grade in all of nursing school. I think it's my lowest. I've gotten some C's in nursing school, do not get me wrong, but like that one was really low. Um, so really hit me hard um, studying for that. It was the hematology and all that stuff, which I told you guys when it was going on that I was like really not expecting a good grade because I just, I was so overwhelmed with the information and not knowing what how to go about studying the amount of slides that I needed to, even reading the book and stuff. I thought I did great studying, but I definitely didn't. Um, but the second quiz, I realized something within the PowerPoints that I ended up adding to my note cards and to some notes. Um, and I ended up getting a 94. So I wanted to share that with you guys and I'll go over it more in depth when I get to my study with me video. But I got a notebook a while ago and I just now finally started using it. Um, today was actually my first time actually separating these notes from the PowerPoint notes because I didn't have um, my printer right now because again, we're, we moved. So his PowerPoints, I realized for last exam's lectures, under each slide, so I always spent so much time trying to catch up and study with what he was saying because I had friends who had been in his class in semesters before me and they were like, write down everything he says and memorize every slide. And I'm like, okay, well, he talks a lot and he goes into a lot of depth and where I was trying to write, I was like not writing fast enough and I couldn't get it all and then I'm flying behind and they are recorded lectures, so he does email them to us. But let's be honest, how much time do they really think that we have to truly go back and listen to those? Because I really, between studying for this and mental health and doing all my clinical stuff, there's just not enough time to listen to six hours of lecture, six to eight hours. So below his PowerPoint, I always thought that the in the little note section, here I'll show you guys real quick, down here, I always thought that was just like where they typed everything that was already in the slide. But I was reading it with him, the last exam lecture stuff, and I had realized those were the points that he was actually covering and talking about, that I had spent so much time writing down that I wasn't getting to finish the information because he went through it so fast. So, this is what I've done. I, and I'll show you guys in this, um, I go slide by slide and write down just that note little section of each PowerPoint. And then I've been going through and um, also I use sticky notes to give me extra space if I don't wanna have it on a separate page if I run out of room at the bottom. So just a little hack there. And I feel like writing it down really helps me absorb so much information. I have had a lot of you reach out and be like, you should type it and do this, it's so much faster. I just learn better this way and I remember better this way and it helps me with like photographic memories and stuff. So literally writing it down is like the one way that I can learn and retain information. So I've been taking the PowerPoints and these and then formulating my note cards. My note cards are all in a box in the office which is still needing desperately to be unpacked. But when I have a chance to film my study with me, I will go through how I felt my note cards. Nothing special, just kind of how I highlight and stuff, kind of how I did in that one vlog where I showed you guys kind of what I was doing with my mental health ones. Um, but yeah, I found that out. So maybe check your teacher's PowerPoints if you guys are online and learning right now, because if they have their little notes down there for themselves, it's really helpful for you too. Um, and then I still add on like little notes that he says on the side. And he also tells a lot of great stories. He has a lot of personal family stories and stuff that really help connect the material um, and stuff. So anyways, that's just, I just wanted to share that with you guys real quick. Um, we did just get a, um, 
package delivered and I think it might be our kitchen rug. So I'm really excited and we are going to go get that. It's not my rug, but it is wine. And that's always a good thing too. Josh just joined the wine club or something. Thirsty is no way to live. So now we have wine. <laughs> so, I want my rug. I'll, it's from Target and I'll link it when I um, get it. And obviously she will show you guys. Maybe it'll show up this weekend or next week in the Week in Life vlog that I'm planning on vlogging. But we got this rug, like I said, from Home Depot and it matches. And I've always loved the idea of having a rug in the kitchen. So I'm hoping to kind of have it go through this area um, just because I didn't like how it would feel in this area and I don't want it, the dishwasher to like go over and it get all wet from that. So I'm hoping it'll like kind of go from here a little bit to the fridge. Um, but I just thought it'd be nice. I've always wanted a rug in the kitchen and it's a non-slip one already, which will be also really nice. So I'm really excited. What are you doing? What are you doing? Should we lay down? Should we watch a movie? <gasps> you want to cuddle? Should we go cuddle on the couch? Oh goodness, you want to cuddle? Okay, let's cuddle. Anyways, that's the only new item that we actually have coming right now. We, The rest of it, we're kind of going to wait until after Christmas because now we want to start getting ready for all of our Christmas stuff. Um, I made my sticky note in the top corner of my laptop again. Carter said that she downloads like an app for it, but I struggle with space on my laptop. So I think I'm just going to deal with these. Um, and I have a limp and caught. It's not due till midnight tonight, but I'd like to get it done now. So I need to do that, which really should only take me like maybe 30 minutes. And then we have for each med surge online clinical, because like I said, I didn't get placed for that one, only my mental health one. I have to um, do this like discussion board, which was due Wednesday night. So I already did that. And then by tomorrow night, we have two peer responses due. And then our professors are supposed to ask us a question and we have to respond to them before the 14th. So I'm hoping to get that done today. And then I missed my med surge lecture from Tuesday because that was our moving day. Um, so I need to go through the recording and listen to that, which is unfortunate. Um, but it should be easy. I'm not worried. I might not even listen to it because now that I know his, that he goes over what's in the little note section of the PowerPoints, I might just test that out and see how it is because I genuinely don't know if I have time to do all of that by the time the exam is because the exam is one week from today. And then I have to listen to my mental health lecture. And I did start off that class by taking um, my notes and like while taking the, listening to her online lecture, I would start writing out my note cards. But I stopped doing note cards for that class because I ended up not really utilizing them as much because the material is really easy to grasp. Um, so I really only use it um, to kind of study my medications that she goes over. Um, so I'll go over that too in my study with me. Um, so I need to listen to that. And then I have class at one, which is my mental health lecture. And I guess I'll show you guys what I do during that to prepare for her exam. It's really nice and I'm really happy about it. And I really have loved this class. So that's that. I'm currently having cramps from hell right now. So I am going to take my laptop, go sit on my heated blanket, put on a movie or maybe a Christmas ambiance because we know I love those and try and get this lip and caught out of the way. Um, so hopefully by 1 p.m. I can eat lunch and be ready for my class. Hey y'all, sorry about the bad lighting, but I'm about to log in to my Zoom meeting for this next class, which is my mental health class. Like I told you guys, I stopped doing the note cards for her class because I just found this is a lot easier method and a lot quicker so I can put more time to med surge. But 
Let me log in real quick. I'm also snacking on some peanut M&Ms because that's all that sounds good to me right now. Even though I'm starving. In this class, we have to listen to a pre-recorded lecture because our Friday classes, we only have this class on Fridays. Um, and it's supposed to be from 1 to 5, but instead we just do... We start at one and we go over review for the following exam. So that my exam's on Monday, so we're gonna review for that. I didn't get to the um, pre-recorded lecture, but I actually really have been liking listening to them on Sunday nights anyways, because it keeps the information fresh. Um, and then this gives me like the main things that's gonna be on the exam for me to study throughout the weekend anyways. So it kind of works out, but there are like heavier and more dense chapters that I do like to make sure i go over and listen to like throughout the week um but right now we are about to get started and i'm just going to take my blank piece of paper whatever heck freaking pen color i'm feeling today i kind of want to use this cool pink one i'll also show you guys these new pens that i got after class let's do a pink highlighter also josh is golfing so i'm really happy because i don't have to listen with headphones in so i can put these away Every time he's home and he like is doing stuff, I always have to put my headphones in and listen to it so that I don't get distracted and want to hang out with him instead of doing schoolwork. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to kind of lay out and write a little review map. Um, and then I'll kind of just show you guys how it looks in the end. It's usually really sloppy and crazy, but it's a really nice thing to have because she goes over exactly what she's looking for on the exam. So gonna go to class and i'll see you guys in a little bit class is over i forgot to film during it because we just went over so much so fast that i feel like i just couldn't click the on button for the camera but pretty much this is what like i write down all over like just things that she's like you have to know remember these differentiate between these all of that stuff so i write it down like as fast as i can and just like in a mess um and then while she's kind of just going over a lot of things that I already noticed that she's just pretty much going over a lot of like the PowerPoint stuff. Um, I've been kind of, I'm not good at concept maps. I don't know, maybe this is one, I guess, I don't know. But I have, like I told you guys, I stopped doing the note cards and I've just been writing everything on like a giant, like plain white piece of printer paper. Um, and this has saved me a lot of note cards and I feel like it's just easier to sit on the couch and just like study this for like One to two hours a day. I've been usually trying to like study the most like right before bed puts me to sleep. It's relaxing um, And then like sometimes like in the mornings um, So that's just been really useful for me So there this is that one and I put it like in a review thing too because I also, on top of highlighting stuff that's from the PowerPoints, I add in little notes or examples that she writes. Um, and yeah, that's just kind of what it looks like. Um, nothing crazy, but helpful nonetheless. Um, and then on top of that, after we do this, I have like a lot of extra time after this. Um, unless I have like my exam at five, every two or every other week we have a, an, an exam for med surge on Fridays. So I have this class and I have two hours and then I have my exam. So it's nice when I don't have that because I have a lot of time on these days to do this. Um, but throughout her PowerPoints, she gives us pages of the book of like important tables and stuff to study. Um, like this one for the nursing process for conduct disorders and um, what's it called? Intermittent explosive disorder. We have an assessment tool that we can use and it's on page 400 of the book. So I've been using these guys that Josh picked up from Target for me. Um, and I'll just write like which exam it's for rather than like what specific chapter it's for because I just know that like it's nice flipping through all the ones that I know are specifically, specifically for the exam that I need. Um, so it just kind of looks like that. It's not organized. They're like a hot mess. Um, but like this is the tool that I need to study for exam three. So got that there. And then I need to mark two more spots, which I'm going to do real quick. Um, and then I try and keep the 
illnesses and stuff that we learn on like all together and then i put i've been putting the nursing process interventions and like all of that stuff on like its own that little page um which i'll show you guys like i just now started it i should probably turn the lights on it's getting a little dark out um but i don't know this is just what i'm liking and just like writing it down and being creative with it has really i'm not kidding you helped me absorb a lot more information than like just writing the note cards and like all of that stuff did um which is weird because it's like the total opposite for med surge like med surge only note cards are helping me so that is that i'm going to finish marking this up um i have two more of these to make for chapters 17 and 27. also on the top of the page i put like the exam three review and then right here, if you can tell, I circle which chapter that this is for too, just in case I want to like go to the chapter in the book or go to the chapter in my um, notes. So we are going to do this. I'm also gonna FaceTime Taylor because I miss her um, while I do it. And then Josh will be home in the next hour and I'll probably call it a night then because you can only do so much before you burn out and no information is learned after that, you know? So, yeah. Also, just a side note, if the table that she's having a study is important, like this one is, I'm going to read through these and ones that I know I'm struggling differentiating between others or I'm just struggling to remember or anything, I am going to turn into a note card as well. Um, so just wanted to let you guys know that that's something that I do as well. Joshy's home. Hi, Fanny. Are we on a walk? Fanny. Sen, are we on a walk? Are you so happy? Oh, oh we got a big stick. <laughs> oh. Oh. Careful. Excuse me. Did you find a stick? Sven. Did you find a stick? <laughs> it's an outside toy. Okay. Come on. No, leave it. No, leave it. Come on. Come on. I know. Oh, he's so good. I know. Come on. <laughs> Come on. No. No, that's outside, that's outside toy. toy. <laughs> hey, drop it. Spenny. Come on. It's no, ah, ah, ah. Come, come on. on. <laughs> All right, y'all. So it is 4.41 right now. Josh just got home from golf a little bit ago. And we took Spenny around the little block area on a walk. Um, I finished my one chapter. And I'm halfway, more than halfway through my second one. 
Um, and this is all I have so far for it, and I just have to do the nursing process page now. Um, but I'm feeling burnt out, so I'm going to pick up everything and put it away. I have the parent trap on now, and then I'm cramping hardcore, so I'm gonna go sit in that beautiful spot over there and just, you know, PMS in my own world. Overall, I had a really productive day, which is exactly what I needed um, tomorrow finishing up this last little paper and being able to study these tonight, tomorrow night, and then um, Sunday night, and then throughout Monday will be perfect and set me up for my exam on Monday. Um, and then tomorrow, while Josh has a listing appointment, I need to study for my med surge one, but I'm just literally, I'm so burnt out right now already for the day that I just need to, Tom's killing me, and I just, I need to chill, so. Josh just went to go pick us up dinner. We've been really bad. We've been ordering out a lot lately, but it's because we literally have not had any groceries. Like we weren't gonna go grocery shopping and having to move those groceries. Now that we're here, we're just like kind of trying to find the right time to go grocery shopping, which hopefully we'll get there tomorrow morning as planned. Um, so we got some burgers from this place down the street, which I'm really excited to try. And then I think tonight we're just going to relax, open up one of those bottle, bottles of wine that I got, showed you guys earlier. And then hopefully just relax and cuddle on the couch. Just have like a nice relaxing night. Um, but yeah, I'll update you guys in a little bit. Is he right? It's Benny, come here. Come here. Oh no, his legs falling out. Guys, we did a bad thing. <laughs> Oh, are you sad? <laughs> oh, it's Vanny, that's okay. All right, so I did let Josh pick out our um, holiday PJs this Best year. ones, <laughs> yeah. Awesome. <laughs> um, but yeah, <laughs> I'm going to end the vlog here, but if you guys don't think we're not gonna wear these every single day of Vlogmas, you're wrong. But I wanted to show you guys this to end the vlog on a good note because we literally spent the last like five hours laying down on the couch doing absolutely nothing with our time, so. Hope you guys enjoyed this little productive, busy day in my life. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video.